<laughs> G'day folks, I'm Mick from Sale from Iron Man 4x4. Let's discuss the controversial subject of bull bars, underbody plates, side steps, battery equipment, canopies, roof racks, sliding systems, water storage, additional fuel, everything that can be done. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun. Good day folks and welcome to another Ironman 4x4 Tech Talk video. I'm Mick Van Sale. As you can see, today we're talking solar panels and we're answering another viewer's question. There was a question recently as to whether or not I was wearing trousers when I'm standing behind the table and I can tell you, yes, I never go without my trousers. But on to a more serious uh, uh, topic here. What is the difference between a PW... PW <laughs> On to more serious stuff though. What is the difference between a PWM solar controller and an MPPT solar controller? Very good question. So PWM and MPPT are the two different types of controllers you get to uh, control and convert the power from your solar panel to your your battery. This is a PWM controller, pulse width modulation type of controller and this controller over here is a MPPT controller which is maximum power point tracking type of controller. Two different technologies to do pretty much the same thing. Get the power from the sun flowing through the panel into your battery. But what is the difference? Well, first and foremost, the most significant difference is the fact that this here controller, the PWM controller, is around seven, eight hundred bucks. They have pretty much the same rating as each other, whereas this controller is three grand. It's five times the price and it's more efficient. So, you know, should you spend the money or not? Let's have a quick look at the specifications. This here is an Ironman 4x4 120 watt panel running at 18 volts internally. Okay, when you connect it to a PWM controller, you have to take the wattage of the panel, 120, and divide it by the voltage of the panel, which is 18, and you get to around six and a half amps. So that is the amount of amperage that you're gonna be able to put into your battery, given you don't have any losses with cable length and stuff like that. It's okay, six and a half amps, that's pretty good. This MPPT controller, however, connected to this panel, what then happens is you take the 120 watts of the panel and you divide it by the voltage of the battery. And if the battery is a bit flat and it's sitting at 12 volts, you're actually gonna be able to put 10 amps into that battery, which is way better than the six and a half amps. Well, it's not quite double, but it's way better. I'll tell you why. This panel will only work when there is sunlight and good sunlight. And typically that is, depending on what part of the world you're in, if you're in the Khalekhadi or whatever, we'd like to work from about half past nine, 10 o'clock until about three, half past three in the afternoon. But after that, the output of these panels pretty much drops down. So you're looking at a good six hours during the day that you can get good sun and you can charge your battery. Your battery is powering your fridge for 24 hours. So you're sucking power out of your battery. It's where the solar panel is only able to replenish that for six hours. So six sixes of 36, 36 amps back into the battery. Using this one, 60 amps plus. So that is significant because at 36 amps, if your fridge is running at two and a half amps an hour, that is a lot of amps. It's close to 60 amps you're pulling out of the battery overnight. And if you're only able to put back in 35, 36 amps, you're gonna run out of power by day two or day three. Whereas this controller, you'll be putting pretty much what you use, you'll be putting back into the battery. So that's gonna kind of help you decide which technology you need to use. Folks, it's more uh, in depth than all of what I've just spoken about now. This is a very short video. We are going to be doing some longer videos, an in-depth video into everything uh, auto electrical, charging systems, batteries, how ch batteries are discharged, how they're charged, uh, refrigeration, wire thickness, all of that type of thing. We're gonna be doing a fantastic video series for you, giving you all the information. So by all means, please subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell so that when we do launch those videos, you'll be notified and you can get to the bottom of all of this black magic. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please join us again next time. Take care.